makukuha ka ba kung sakaling mawalan ka ng trabaho during this pandemic? Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Discuss natin to kasi for sure marami sa inyo yung nagtatanong at nangangamba kung ano nga ba yung mangyayari sa atin during this pandemic lalo na kung mas tumagal pa siya. The latter part of 2019, alam natin merong COVID-19 na but we were not that sure yet na ganun pala siya kalala na mangyayari. Na by this year, hindi natin alam na sobrang laki pala ng magiging epekto niya globally with our jobs, okay? With our economy. There are a lot of companies na since January, for sure, nagkakaroon na ng struggle with their companies. But come March of this year here in the Philippines, nag-start na rin tayo na magkaroon ng changes, new normal kung tawagin nga nila, with our employers. So, ano nga ba yung mga new changes na yon na tinatawag natin? So, there are companies na nagkaroon ng mga work-from-home arrangement. Ito is para malesen yung kanilang um, paglabas-labas, going to their work, and para mas maprotektahan sila by staying at home while they're also working. So, yung next is yung reduce work week. Yung reduce work week naman, ito naman yung binawasan yung number of days ng trabaho ninyo with your employers. So, for example, if you're working five days a week, naging three days a week na lang siya. Yes, apektado rin yung sahod ng mga empleyado, but Come to think of it, di ba mas better yung may natatanggap tayo kahit papano rather than none at all? Most of the time ang nangyayari is reduce work week or work from home o actually dumating sa point or darating din sa point na wala ka talagang pasok at all. Most of these studies, usually ang sinasabi, this will last until end of this year or by next year, 2021. And if that's the case, there are a lot of companies na talagang maaapektuhan with this pandemic. And personally, me as an HR, I am also afraid na mangyayari to, na tatagal pa siya up until this end of year or by next year. Imagine there are a lot of companies na magsasara for sure because of this pandemic. And that's scary. And nakakalungkot siya kasi how can an employee can cope with this pandemic, diba? Isipin nyo na lang yung mangyayari sa atin. Even our economy globally are affected. Earlier, diniscuss ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga initial step na ginawa ng employers to follow with the new normal and if this pandemic will last until next year for sure the companies will do the next step and that is retrenchment ano nga ba yung retrenchment as you can see yung income natin were all affected because of reduced work week but come to think of it if dumating sa point na ikaw na yung mareretrench Diba? Kung tatawagin ka ng HR ninyo and they will explain to you, maibibigay sa yung letter para lang i-inform ka, after a month, wala ka nang magiging trabaho. It's not your fault. Wala kang ginawang masama sa kumpanya. But there are things to consider para magtuloy-tuloy pa yung business ng company. Assuming hindi pa rin maging okay yung economy natin, yung businesses by next year. Assuming hindi pa rin mawala yung COVID-19. Huwag naman sana, no? Huwag naman. After retrenchment, and if the company cannot keep up with the last sort is to file for cessation of business. Either partial or, or complete closure of the business. Nakakasad siya kasi hindi mo alam yung mangyayari sa iyo eh. What's in it for you kung sakaling mawala na yung kumpanya? What will happen to Filipino workers or mawala na sila totally ng trabaho? To be honest, it's really scary. 
nakakalungkot din siya. Okay, hindi siya madaling decision. Kasi for sure before mag-close ang isang business, kinonsider nila ang lahat ng bagay. Okay, so after discussing to you kung ano yung mga pwedeng gawing steps ng mga employers during this pandemic, i-discuss ko naman sa inyo kung ano naman yung karapatan ninyo bilang empleyado pag na-retrench kayo or nag-close yung company ninyo. Okay, if your employer files for cessation of business or either for retrenchment, they should provide you or give you a one-month written notice kung saan nakalagay yung date ng termination ng employment mo with the company. Okay? They should give you the letter and Department of Labor and Employment to notify as well kung sino man yung mga empleyado na naisama for retrenchment. Next is, of course, after a month, dapat bigyan ka rin ng kumpanya at karapatan mo to na makatanggap ng separation pay. Alam ko marami sa inyo yung nagtatanong niyan. Kung magkano, that depends with your salary. Pero kung paano siya i-compute, ibibigay ko sa inyo. Remember, whichever is higher, yun yung separation pay mo. And kung naka 6 months ka na sa company, equivalent na siya for 1 year. For retrenchment as well, your employer must be fair and reasonable in choosing who will be dismissed and who will be retained. And you have to make sure as an employer to pay your employees na nawalan ng trabaho. Kasi... Ayun nga, nabanggit ko kanina, mahirap siya eh. And it's hard to start from the scratch. Kung alam mo, after this pandemic, hindi pa lahat ng companies mag-accept ng aplikante. Whatever decisions na ginagawa ng mga employers ninyo ngayon, either reduce work week or work from home arrangement or retrenchment or cessation of business, just please know na ginagawa lang yun ng mga employers because that needs to be done. And for them to survive, kailangan nilang mamili. So, from work from home arrangement, from reduced work week to retrenchment to cessation of business, all of those may experience ng mga employers nowadays because of the pandemic. And we cannot do anything about it because our economy is in full blast affected globally by this COVID-19. So we never know what will happen to us. So we have to be prepared as well. So put up a business. Okay, I am actually happy seeing my friends posting their um, products online in Facebook or Instagram and promoting their businesses and that's one way of us surviving us most especially the Filipinos madiscarte diba so yun yung way natin to survive with this pandemic so don't lose hope if maretrench kayo or ma mag close yung company ninyo because there are a lot of opportunities pa while you're at home. You can do online work or you can do business as well. You just need to tap every opportunities that you have in front of you. I know what is happening right now. Talagang nakakalungkot siya and we cannot go back to our normal life anymore because of COVID-19. But at the end of the day, as long as you're there, I am happy that we're still surviving despite of what is happening around us. And for those na may mga trabaho pa, even reduced work week, love your job, work with integrity, and make sure to help your company as well. Okay? And give importance to your job because not all are lucky as you are or blessed as you are na meron ka pang trabahong pinupuntahan. 
na meron ka pang trabahong binabalikan. Because there are a lot of workers who lose their job because of this pandemic. And I hope you get to give importance to what you have right now with your career or mapa personal man. Be grateful because you still eat three times a day, sometimes more than three times a day. And you still have roof over your head, may tinitirhan ka pa, may mga tubig ka pang iniinom at pagkain na kinakain. Be grateful, okay? Because not all are blessed as you are. And stay home. Stay home because all of us gusto na natin matapos to. And for those who are suffering anxiety and depression because of what is happening around us, I know it's hard for you, but we have to keep going. And we have to take care of ourselves as well. If you have a lot of things running into your mind, just take a break and pray that you get to surpass that. Even me, I am having anxiety because of what is happening around us. And it's hard to be alone here and hindi siya madali this vlog helps me actually to divert my thoughts no in sharing things na lang na i know makakatulong sa inyo but People are suffering from anxiety and depression nowadays because of what is happening. And if you are also experiencing experiencing the same, um, just know that this will come to an end soon. And just pray na malagpasan na natin tong pandemic na to. Okay? And that we get to start a new that we get to see our family and friends again na makasama na natin sila finally na bumalik na ulit yung mga trabaho nyo na na matapos na to na sana bumalik na lahat and I know for sure there's a reason why all of this are happening right now and just know that that God will not leave you despite of all this kung ano man yung reason na yun hindi natin alam. And kung saan man tayo dadalhin ng sitwasyon na to, hindi rin natin alam. We're very unsure of what's going to happen next. Just pray and have faith. Sana pagising natin. Tapos na ang lahat ng to. Hindi ko na alam paano ko tatapusin tong vlog na to actually. Because to be honest, meron pa akong trabaho. Meron pa akong kinakain. Nakakapagbayad pa ako ng nirerentahan kong bahay. But what I am feeling right now is yung mga taong nawalan ng trabaho. Yung mga taong walang pambili ng pagkain. 
yung mga tao na walang tirahan. Yung mga tatay na hindi alam saan kukuha ng pambili ng pagkain ng mga anak. Yung mga nanay na nag-iisip kung ano yung lulutuin nila araw-araw para sa mga pamilya nila. Yung mga bata na hindi makapaglaro sa labas. Yung mga bata na hindi makabalik sa school. Yun yung nagpapabigat sa puso ko. And kaya kahit kanina, medyo emotional na ako kasi this pandemic kahit napakasakit ng mga nangyayari, it gives me a lot of realization in life. Na hindi permanent yung buhay natin on earth. Hindi permanent yung mga bagay na meron tayo. Mga material na bagay. I don't find its value anymore. I will not be sorry for sharing my feelings with you, but I hope whatever it is that's going on with our lives, we get to realize what's really important in our life, and that is our family, the time lost with your family, and your health. That's very important. You have to take care of yourself. Wear your mask. Stay at home kung wala kang gagawin sa labas. Wash your hands. Disinfect your things. And pray. Thank you.